Hello everyone and welcome back to 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. I love oh man, I just really like how the music suddenly jumps in louder when you when you press A there. Or X because I'm on PlayStation. I still think of buttons always in the Xbox configuration. Even though I've had a PlayStation for a while now. Um right, so where did we leave off? We'd just overtaken the destruction percentage, that is right. We learned more about Ryoko, we learned more about A. And we also learn more about Takatoshi Hijiyama, who had been locked for a long ass time. Uh, and in fact, I think we could start by going back into him. They made no progress after searching Nenji Ogata's unconscious body. But after Tsukasa Okino searched inside Takatoshi Hijiyama, his true feelings were revealed. All right. Before dawn at the abandoned factory. <sighs> Feels like I've woken up from a terrible dream. And it looks like he's left me behind again. When does he even sleep? Akino? The more I find out, the more dangerous he seems. Forcing his way into someone's head and messing around? He's unhinged. It's certainly interesting. Okino is like the most major character that you cannot play as. Like, it seems like Okino overlaps with a lot of people's stories. We've seen him talking to a lot of different people. He knew about time travel and was using it before a lot of different people. He's the creator of the Sentinels, I believe, as well. He's got all this tech going on. He's like... He's a really, really, really important cog in this story. And it seems like he's as important as, like, anyone else is. He's, he's as major a character as all the other 13 are, but he's the only one that you can't actually play, which is curious. And I'm wondering if it's going to be like, Okino was actually one of these other characters the whole time or something. Whether there's going to be, you know, like a, a Chihaya Iori style twist where... Okino grows up to be someone else or something. I don't know. It just feels like there is so much going on with that character and it feels like they should be playable, but they're not. And it's like, is there a reason for that? Is it because we would uh, find, like, it would be impossible to hide something about them if we played them? I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. I should... Wait, hang on. Let me just check. There's not anything over here. No, nothing. Oh, also, you know, a part or two ago, I was wondering about bringing up the uh, the old chart. Turns out it's just a push of the square button. Thanks for reminding me in the comments, because uh, I was going through the menus like, I'm sure there was a way, I'm sure there was a way. It turns out, literally just push square, and I didn't even try that, so well done, me. Right, okay, looks like there's nothing here. Let's head to the school. If I've judged the walking distance right... I should ride there around noon. I need to save up. Even a small reserve would be enough. What, like save up to get a bus or something? I see. Okino was right. I just need to slip in the old staff entrance. Seems like nobody will spot me. But now, where is Okino? We're in the old wooden building. What are all these umbrellas doing here? There weren't umbrellas here before, were there? I thought no one went in this building. Am I misremembering? Wait, am I just supposed to run out the other end, or...? Yeah, okay. I was looking for a way into one of the rooms, but no, that's not what I'm doing. Okino. There you go. What's going on? Why do I feel like this? <laughs> You're in love, my dude. I see you made a friend. Fluffy. Eh, just a stray cat, that's all. Eh, not so sure about that. I just gave it a little food. No, it shows up here all the time, so... I ended up bringing food for it every day. I suppose I can relate. You used food to toy with both of us. What? 
You don't like me taking care of you? I didn't ask you to do that. I'd better get going. Going where? Oh, right. Are you sticking around until Shintaro's done eating? Shintaro? Mind tossing the empty can for me? Shintaro? That's his name, yeah. I'm counting on you. You gonna talk to me, Fluffy? No? Can I follow? Cannot follow. Oh, hello. Tidy up. Oh, there's something under the can. Looks like a hundred fifty yen. Yeah. Cheers, Okino. Oh. Okino, are you still trying to look after me? Is she trying to, or he rather, trying to look after you? Or is he trying to use you, is the question. I'm not sure. I'm really unsure whether Okino reciprocates any feelings whatsoever. Or whether it is literally just, like, keeping him on side, I guess, so that he can use him later or something. I don't know. Uh, go to the schoolyard. Isn't she? My Yaki Soba Pun Angel. Hello. Uh, she doesn't recognize me. Then again, I was a mess when she saw me last. Or oh, that Wait. was a different her. <laughs> if she's a student here, then that means it must be sold here at the school. Oh this my god! Yakisoba pun. That's a real life changer for you there. Go to the cafeteria. Sure, sure. Hello. She's almost missed out. They only had two left. <laughs> one left. Go, 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 get it, get it, get it. Your finest yakisoba pond, please. Did we get it? Yes! <laughs> I'm genuinely so happy for him. Oh, no doubt about it. This is the same yakisoba pond from back then. He loves it so much. Are we having a flashback to you eating? March 1985. It's too much. So hungry. I've got no strength left. This was nearer to when he got like this. time traveled. I'll starve to death. To the future. His hair's not so long. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Maybe on the main street, I could find some scraps in the garbage. Or maybe if Megumi will come along and hand you a yakisoba pie. I am an imperial soldier. The pride of the empire. I can't dig through trash like some animal. You can if your options are doing that or dead. die. Still, I'll never find a paying job in this state. <sighs> You'll never find a paying job full stop with no papers or anything. Let the heat get to me. Not Taking sure. That bath in the river was my biggest mistake. <laughs> that cold left me out of commission for a while. And now I know the feeling. Three days since my food ran out. Oof. I couldn't even find Kiriko-san in the Look end. at that helicopter flying across this the skyline. I die. Alone, wasting away. Nice touch. Megumi, are you just going to ignore me? Excuse me. Um Are you okay? Oh yeah, doing great. Just Oh. Uh, Stella. Never better. Was that your stomach? Uh, <laughs> I know. <clears throat> What's this? I bought too much of this at lunch. It's yakisoba pan. Yakisoba pan? 
I can have this? If you'd like. I... I suppose I'll take you up on that. Yaki Soba Pan. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> <laughs> Impossibly good. It's delicious. How could anything so delicious exist in this world? <laughs> <laughs> two bites. He ate it in two bites. <sighs> oh, I wanted to savor the taste, but but instead you wolfed it I down. Practically inhaled that whole piece. <laughs> now that I think about it. I never even got to thank her. My Yaki Soba Pun Angel. That's why he loves it so much. I see. This should be good. I can eat in peace here. Still, I can't believe I got the last one. I suppose it's good karma for my model behavior. I was wondering where you'd run off to. Did you go buy that yourself? Okino. Now, time to finally enjoy my... Uh... Uh... <laughs> Wait, are you gonna offer Okido some? Do you... want half of this yakisoba pond? What? Oh, no, I'm fine. I'm not even hungry. Isn't that your favorite food anyway? You enjoy it. Well, if you're sure. Yum, 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 yum. You really are a nice guy, Hijiyama kun. Eat! Okay, time to dig in. Mmm. Mmm. Fantastic. <laughs> this is it. This is the taste that saved me. I have to thank the Yakisoba Pond Angel. If I ever see her again, I need to thank her personally. Hmm? No, wait. I did meet her. But when? Oh? Flashback a few days ago. In the factory? What was she doing here? Good grief. You're still going to keep trying then? Of course. Is it possible he really doesn't know anything? There's still residual data in there from the switch. If I can figure out who's sending out the signal, then... Maybe I can stop it, or even control it. Who have we got in there at the moment, Nenji? Probably. Oh man, there's a whole lot of options here. Where are you going now? The convenience store near the station. You haven't eaten since noon, right? I'll go get us some snacks. Help change things up. Appreciate it. Any requests? Yakisoba. Yakisoba. <laughs> yeah. So much for changing things up. Haven't you tried anything else from this time? Is that the only thing? Don't make fun of me. I, I like plenty of foods. That he's eaten? I just haven't eaten any of them yet. That's all. Wow. Can't argue with that logic. I feel like even the greatest food would get tiring if, like, he's he's been here a long time. He's been here months at this point, right? <laughs> if that's all he eats, ever. Huh? Who's there? A wild Megumi appears. A female student? What is she doing out so late? More importantly, what's she doing here? Wait, have we met somewhere? Ah, uh... she 
She's the girl who saved me. She's the Yakisoba Pond Angel. You okay there, Megumi? Excuse me. Oh, uh, please wait. I'm afraid the second floor isn't quite... Uh... I'm sorry. Uh-oh. <laughs> Yaki Soba Pond Angel. Why? He got got as well, okay. She's d doing a very good job in shooting everyone... Shooting everyone that is a pilot. We still don't know exactly what the shot does, though. Take a look at a new mystery file. I'm guessing just an update to his name? No? Nope, it's nothing new. Okay. You would think something new would come up here, but I guess not. Okay. Ho! Oh. Holy shit! That is quite the unlock condition. Protagonists with story progress at 80% or over 8. Wow. <laughs> you have to have like two thirds pretty much at almost beaten their story to be able to continue him. That is really interesting. Like, I'm trying to think what we learned in the last two. Because obviously he was locked for ages until we got really deep into Nenji's. And Nenji didn't even unlock himself until we got deep into a couple of like a bunch of others so this section the last couple of bits for him were super buried but I'm, I'm wondering why like I feel like we didn't really learn anything crazy new from his story so I'm wondering why they were locked for so long I don't know uh I feel like there's a good link from there to Megumi so let's jump, th let's jump there. The next target was Juro Karabe's friend Shu Amaguchi. Although she succeeded in shooting him, it resulted in the sudden appearance of a giant robot, all of which was witnessed by Juro. Right, yes. Let's go. Back in the Karabe house. Juro. Oh. Um, what is it? You're making a weird face. Huh? Um, well, because of what happened on the roof today. The roof? What are you talking about? Huh. Uh, Fluffy. He really did alter his memories. Right, yeah, we left Fluffy with him. It's nothing. I'll start making dinner. Oh, you don't have to. I'll just make instant noodles or something later. You can't eat that for dinner. It won't. <laughs> you ever, can't. So hang on just a bit. Okay. I really just wanted some ramen. Huh. Can't turn the TV off. Now to the ongoing story ah. of the American helicopter crash. That'll be why. Huh? Wait. During a routine flyby, a U.S. military helicopter clipped Sakura High School at low altitude. What? And crash landed into Ayame Park. A U.S. military helicopter? That was definitely a sentinel. Did Fluffy do this too? Oh, right. Not a helicopter. <laughs> What a nice evening. Hey. Fluffy. Fortunately, there were no injuries reported in the aftermath of the US military helicopter crash. First gas explosions, now helicopter crashes. Human cities really are the worst. <laughs> Change the channel for me, will you? The buttons are too small for my cat paws. Yes, that's the one. <laughs> I'm watching TV. Kindly go away. Wow. 
Rude cat. Juro's memories of what happened on the roof. You really did erase them. You gave me no choice. But if you can do it so easily, what's to say you won't do the same to me? Well, nothing really. So it's possible that you won't restore his memories and are just using me for your own personal gain. If I was a bad guy, sure. Well, that sure is reassuring. Thank you, Fluffy. There was no US helicopter crash. It was different from the one Juro was piloting. But it was a sentinel. Altering the news is part of your powers, too? You think cats are some kind of little furry gods? Yes. You're no cat. Well, duh. It'd be pretty crazy if there was a talking cat wandering around. It sure would. Wait a minute. What if you're the crazy one? We're all mad Maybe here. I'm just a figment of your imagination. Maybe there's no such thing as magic. No! Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Clark's three laws, huh? Well, guess there's no point in hiding it anymore. I'm a cat-like robot from the future. <laughs> I even gave you a secret. I can't tell if he's joking. Oh yeah, the time machine's inside your desk drawer. Wanna check out my four-dimensional pocket? Quit messing with me. I'm gonna assume he was joking. The Dimos code. By sealing those that hold power, you'll be able to defeat the kaiju. That's what you said, right? I said that you all wouldn't have to die. Tell me what you're really trying to do. Otherwise, I won't help you anymore. That's going against our contract. Fine, I'll make an exception this time. Even if you seal the witches, the kaiju will still come. Then what are we sealing them for? This is a game. A game of survival. I've simply been readying the playing field. And now the witches will join in the fight. They'll have no choice but to take their sentinels into battle. Then, what I've been shooting them with is... A magic that forces them onto the battlefield. No. Anything can be resolved with a magical spell. A happy ending for everyone. You know that's not the way it works. Your world's future is on the line. You need to fight to win it. I'm just here to watch it happen. I just don't see how it forces them onto the battlefield. Or is it is it implanting the thing is the shot implanting the thing that lets them like teleport in? Is that what it is? Cuz like right at the start of the game we saw Iori uh swipe that thing on her leg and that turned her into that little glowy ball that well it summoned the sentinel first and then it like teleported her inside of it and then that also happened on the roof uh so maybe that's what it is maybe the shot is like an injection from range and i don't know it's like maybe that's what what it is and so you can then summon them and get in them from anywhere whenever the attack happens you're talking to me way too much today what does it matter to you who I am anyways? Your only concern is for Juro, right? I've been looking for memories in that busted brain of his. It's like trying to sift through mud, and it's all for you. But if you want to break our contract, then I'll stop right now. It won't be hard to find someone more capable wow, than you. Wow, savage. An honest girl who actually wants her wish granted. <sighs> now, if you plan on upholding your end of the contract, 
then I need proof. I want you to shoot your friend. Tomi Kisaragi. She's a witch. I can't do that! Remember your contract. Remember it real good. <laughs> Tomi... Think about it. The day Fluffy arrived. Hello. Juro? Why are you sleeping out here? You're gonna catch a cold. Don't wake him up. You again. But how? <laughs> I said, don't wake him up, idiot. I'm fixing him. This prank is starting to get on my nerves. I don't want to be a part of it anymore. Is someone trying to test me? You really are a suspicious one, aren't you? Your cute girl charm is quickly wearing off. Oh no, I'm so sorry. It's time to start accepting your reality. But... Talking cats don't exist. That's right. And yet here I am. <laughs> Even better, I know your wish. Hasn't Juro said anything to you? Something about his dreams, perhaps? Now that you mention it, he did say he had a dream about getting in a robot. Yes, I've been digging through his memories. Will that make him remember everything? Maybe, if they're still in there. I can find memories and put them back into an empty head. Pretty amazing, I know. Well, that's the end of your trial. <laughs> your free trial has ended. I gave you a preview of the benefits you'll get from me. Anything further requires a contract. <sighs> Oh, fine, I'll answer any questions you have. And then you have to decide. After you agree, there'll be no more questions. I expect you to carry out your duties with no complaints. Hmm. Don't be shy. Ask me something. If you're not going to ask anything, then make your choice. Decline or think some more. What exactly are you? A magic cat, obviously. You said you came from a world that was destroyed? That's right. My world was destroyed by Daimos. Daimos? You mean the kaiju, right? You heard that from Juro Izumi, didn't you? The curse that summons them. That's the Daimos Code. And all the witches in this world are affected by it. Can you tell me more about the witches? They are those born with the power of magic. Piloting sentinels, using gates. It's only a fraction of their power. Oh. And Juro is one of them? As are you. That's right. He's a witch too. Is Fluffy going to eventually ask me to shoot myself then? I guess. The Daimos code. code. You mentioned that before. You said it was a relic of an ancient civilization? A terribly old relic. From a magical civilization that existed millions of years ago. But if it's from that long ago... Hmm, that doesn't sound Humans right. would have still been apes. It's pretty crazy, right? That sounds like some made-up bullshit, Fluffy. Let's say I do agree to this contract. How do I know you'll hold up your end of the deal? Well, aren't you rude? Cats are free spirits, but they are not con artists. A cat who betrays his word is nothing more than an animal. I mean... If you don't trust me, then say so. You're only wasting time. 
<laughs> Cats are in fact animals, my dude. What will I have to do to fulfill my end of the contract? At least a general idea. Your job isn't hard. First, I will give you one of my magical tools. You will use that to seal the witches. Seal them? What happens after that? The Dimos Code will call the Kaiju. If you seal the witches that have access to it, you will be able to live longer than you are fated. Huh. Don't be shy. Well, I'm curious what happens if you say decline. Like, obviously we do accept it. So what happens if I say decline? I'm sorry, but having a contract with the cat is just too weird. Whatever, your choice. Have a nice life with Juro. No, wait! Maybe I just need to think about it some more. Ugh, women are so indecisive. <laughs> okay, so it just forces you. You can fix Juro, right? Sifting through someone's head is what I'm best at. Oh. Okay. I will accept your contract. Then it's settled. Now, this should go without saying. But this agreement between us... If anyone finds out, the contract will be broken. And you'll never see me again. Okay. Oh. What's your real name? Call me whatever you want. Well, I don't know then. You called me something when you saw me at school. What was it? Oh, um... Fluffy. Now, how lame. <laughs> Not very original, are you? Lots of things are fluffy. Well, whatever. I guess that's fine. Okay. Oh, he looked at me again. Are you hungry, little guy? Hello, so friends. Cute. Look at his fluff. He looks so soft. Oh, you're right. Oh, adorable. He looked at me again. <laughs> My buddy just so likes the attention. Cute. Probably. Look at his fluff. Oh. Megumi. Hello. I feel like we haven't talked in forever. Yeah. Good Me morning, Osami-chan. Morning. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. You don't want to go with your friends? You're my friend too. Or did you forget that? Well, anyways. I noticed something the other day. Yeah? It was how unusually quiet your room was. So you can understand my surprise when I saw that all your things were gone. Uh, right. I can explain. I'm sorry for not saying anything. It's okay. Just kind of feels like a waste. Not taking advantage of the apartment Shikishima got for us. Huh. Then again, they are Showa era buildings. So I guess they're not that great. So, where are you living now? Well. Oh, um, at Juro Karabe's house. Uh, hold up, you're living with him? Seriously? You have Morimura's permission for that, right? Sure don't. Well, probably. Well, you've changed, Megumi. You think so? You've been way more proactive since you came here. Which is a good thing and all, it's just... Uh, well, you know, he's not... Uh, I know that, but I don't care. Since the day Juro showed up, no matter how much the world might change, I decided that I would always be by his side. Aww. Uh-huh, sheesh, 
Megumi. <laughs> but I get it. I'll help any way I can. Thanks. We're friends, you know? You can talk to me about anything. Oh, right. Thank you. Come on. We're gonna be late. Tomi. I don't deserve your friendship. I hope one day you can forgive me. I'm a liar has been added to the thought cloud. Okay. What did you lie about there? You are living with Juro at the moment. It's time. I have to shoot Tom. Oh, right. Forgiveness for this. <laughs> okay, then. Usami-chan, wait! <sighs> what now? I changed my mind on the melon pan. Make it a chocolate cornet instead. Oh, come on. Okay, I'll be waiting. So Yori wanted... Uh, egg pun? What's wrong? Hey, Megumi. I lost at rock, paper, scissors. Feels bad. So I have to get stuff for everyone from the cafeteria. Man, I'm the one who suggested it, too. Feels even worse. Oh, right. I gotta hurry. You sure you wanna wait here? If you don't hurry, they're gonna run out. <laughs> I'm tired of the chaos buying a piece of bread for Oh, Tommy! Animals. <laughs> Kisaragi. Oh, good timing. Hold this. Hey. All right. One more time. Hey, wait. I need to buy something too. Oh, fine. What do you want? Oh, uh, Anpan. I thought you didn't like sweets. Huh? I like sweets. Well, whatever. I'll get yours too. Keep holding that. <laughs> Are we gonna do it in front of everyone? Megumi. What the fuck? No. If I see her face, there's no way I'll be able to do okay, it. Okay, that was just a that was I just a thought. Her when she's not looking. Tommy. Hmm? You trying to buy bread too, Megami? Yeah. Want me to get something for you too? Oh, no. I'm still looking. If you don't decide soon, there's going to be nothing left. Okay. Out of the way, you nerds! <laughs> Tommy, please forgive me. Tommy, what happened? Are you okay? I'm sure she's fine. Let me just take this with me. <laughs> Do you need me to take you to the nurse's office? Huh? The cafeteria? Why are you here? Oh, right. Rock, paper, scissors. Hmm. What else did I need to buy? <sighs> okay, looks like we got away with it. That girl. Yeah, what about us? <laughs> Is Fluffy waiting? Tommy. Hey oh. you. Hang on a sec. Hey. I saw you. You did something to Kisaragi in the cafeteria, didn't you? No. Huh? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Hang on. Don't play dumb. And this isn't just about Kisaragi. <gasps> oh, yeah? I can't remember it exactly, but... You were the one who helped me before. I think. Is that right? Please, stop. 
If you don't leave me alone, I'll call for help. Wait, sorry, when did I help him? Or have we not seen that? I don't think we've seen that. I can't remember it exactly, but you were the one who helped me before. Make a break for it! I guess that answers that. It was her. Huh. To be continued. Mystery files. Anything above? No. Deimos code, or Deimos code, is a code that summons the Deimos, the Kaiju. A relic of an ancient civilization that destroyed another world. That is something we've heard before. And aside from just that statement that it's this ancient thing from another world, we have no more info on it. Curious how that will pan out. Kaiju. Daimos is the generic name for the Kaiju, and there are many types. Some models can be as large as entire buildings, while others are about the size of a large car. That's everything this time. Alrighty, alright. Uh, who next? Who next? Probably not you again. Uh, okay, Ryoko's at 25%. And... Kaitaro's at 25%. I guess that would be a good link from Megumi to Kaitaro, seeing as they sort of live together at some point. <laughs> Let's do that. As Kaitaro Miura faced off against the American weapons, he and his sentinel were engulfed by a bright light. He awoke to find himself in 1985, Japan. What did he do next? <laughs> 